Members are reminded by the Council that there is a general duty to consider the following matters in exercise of its functions. Equal opportunities, crime and disorder, health and safety and human rights. Thank you everyone for coming out and sparing your time here. It would be good if you can put the phone on mobile phones on silent if possible. And the emergency evacuation procedure. On the event of fire alarm, fire drill or the emergency system by the continual sounding of a bell, please exit from the room via the exit doors and the and assemble in the car parking area. Okay, so we are starting the meeting, but right now we are adjourning for public submissions, submissions from the public. So anybody can, wants to take talk from can, can I kick off on behalf of the residents of uh, Shams Man? Uh, my name is Steve Nichols and I reside at number 22 Champs Noir. I'm here this evening because uh, we've received notification from South Gloss Council that they intend to clear trees and vegetation that presently form the border between the school and the residents of Champs Noir. This probably involves in excess of some 30, 40 or even more trees, uh, some of which will be in excess of 100 years of age. And there's been no good reason uh, and the, it will result in a loss of privacy, reduce, reduction in security, it will raise further issues with the existing lighting and the car park, and it will affect wildlife and generally cause discord between the school and the existing neighbours. I'm hoping that the council will see fit to support the residents <coughs> in the proposed, uh, and, and the proposed action stroke works, of which I have a copy and can leave with you. I cannot be sure whether the trees are subject to a protection order, but I'm told this evening that they possibly are as part of the Saxon Way, uh, or, if they form part, or if they did form part of the school's original planning application. However, having said that, I do have a copy of the planning application, and it does refer to under uh, uh, section 10 of their approval uh, that the existing edge rows should be retained and shall not be removed without the prior written notification and consent of the local planning authority. Um, <clears throat> I cannot be sure, as I say, whether they are under protection, but I think we'll be able to provide that information uh, this evening. Um, I have got copies of the notica notification that we've received and a letter received from the school which supports our case rather than the council's case to remove the trees. Now, there are other residents from Champs Mile here with me tonight. Um, if we could perhaps uh, open it to them if they have any further comments or wish to add anything. How many from the local? We are all the residents. So, just, just on that subject, um, I have spoken to uh, South Gloss. Um, they have confirmed all the trees in the Bradley Slope area are covered by planning conditions. Um, the, they were unable to confirm around the historical Saxon way, but I do know that the Saxon path um, does state in from Bradley Stoke that all these uh, hawthorns, etc., um, and some of the hedgerows are protected. Um, we do know that we, uh, we have several hawthorn trees in our back of our garden, which we have been told numerous times by the council that they are under protection area and cannot be removed. Um, but they seem to be very contradictory in their uh, statement with regard to the clearing of this vegetation. They've not consulted us in one bit um, around this. It seems that they've just consulted with uh, Bradley Stoke of the Olympic Trust and have come up with this plan to remove all the trees. Um, I think, in addition to um, you know, comments that have been made, you know, I have written strongly, uh, letters strongly to say Blox, um, to ask them several questions around uh, what impact um, and the effect that we have on us living uh, behind the school. Um, again, we get, we're, we're actually opposite the football field. Um, so um, we currently, even with the trees in, we do get constant footballs in the back garden. Um, if these trees are cut down, um, the question we've asked the council is who can provide the protection for us in the back garden with, with the uh, footballs, etc. It's also a noise protection for us uh, and light protection from the uh, floodlights in the back. You know, we get a lot of wildlife in the back, and we love the wildlife. Um, and I think this is an unnecessary act by the council. Um, and you know, I think the uh, actual um, car park cracking is not subject to the trees, but to the uh, underlying rain. You know, last year with the dry weather, 
the cracks in our back garden alone were, you know, some two foot deep at times, and you know that must be reflected into that car park. Um, I believe personally that, that cracking in the uh, car park is nothing to do with trees, but more to do with the uh, underlying ground. Yeah, the school uh, uh, sent, uh, sent me an email uh, in response to a, a telephone call that I made. And, and what they're saying is that they really just want the, the car park repaired. The South, South Gloucester uh, Council are saying, well, we won't repair the car park until we remove the trees. Uh, which is going to get to yeah. Sorry, we cannot put it in the middle. Yeah, sorry, my. No, my that's fine. Yeah, Andy Holloway, number 26. Um, all I'm just quickly on that is just to confirm it's the overflow car park, it's not the main car park that they're talking about. Is it? Yeah, can you just, I'm Sarah Barker from 2030. Um, can I just add about the car park? But when uh, we moved in, the, the area, the school area was just kind of wasteland, um, and then after seven years, um, they actually built the car park. So the trees and everything were already there when they built the car park. Um, there was a planning application that went through for building of the car park, which was fine, but it only transpires now that the car park is cracking, that they think it is caused by the trees. But the trees were there originally. So actually, you know, we don't know why this has happened, but you know, there might have been a fault with the, their planning or their foundations or something, because surely they would have seen the trees there when they built the car park and might have thought that was an issue in the first place. But again, I'd like to add, you know, when we purchased the property, um, we were told, our solicitors told us that that was a protected hedge. And when I spoke to the, um, the council, um, the person who wrote to us, he um, was insistent that the trees did not have tree protection orders and failed to understand that the trees were part of the hedge. And I was trying to explain to him, you know, that the hawthorn trees are the hedge, um, but he was quite insistent about the TPA on the tree. Um, but it is, a, it is a wildlife corridor. We get foxes, we get um, mm -hmm. bats, we get all cut birds nesting in those trees. And for us and for the school, it would actually increase security risks around the school because at the moment it's very overgrown, there's lots of brambles and trees there, and you just can't get through it. Um, and actually, if we do remove that, it will not only provide a security risk for us, but also for the school. I do have copies of the letter and, and the plans, the proposed plans, with me, if, if it helps yeah, people's right. understanding. Well, district councillor <coughs> from that board was to ask that uh, normally South Gloucestershire is always good. They notify the ward councillors of that area, which is me and John. Um, I've not heard anything about this. The first thing I heard about it was on the phone call from Tom the other day. So, could you tell us where this came from? Yes, it, it's come from there? Wayne Matthews, project delivery manager, uh, so Gloss Council. Mm. Do you want to see a copy of that? It's, uh, mm. um, that's Yourselves, you know, about where it's actually come from. Um, the works is planned for the beginning of September. Um, so, you know, obviously, the school could be breaking up next week. Um, yeah. So, you know, we'd like to get some. Well, Roger, Roger and John are both South Gloucestershire County Council, so is Franklin here, mm -hmm. and um, we'll get to the bottom of it. And so, uh, so, so you can do a lot of my name's John Bradbury, I live in Ellen Hay Road. Um, noting the agenda item concerning video recording on tonight's uh, council meeting agenda, would the town councillors not agree that recording meetings and making those recordings available via social media is a useful way of making uh, the, the, the business of the town council available to a wider audience and thereby extending democracy? Anybody from the first issue? Anybody wants to address? Well, we just we are from 26 gentlemen. 
the reason we bought this house was for the privacy. We like the, the background, which is obviously all the big trees. <coughs> and we were promised that these are conservation area, and no one can touch it. Whoever touches them will be sent to jail without any, you know, no mm -hmm. saying. So we, were, we are under the impression that they are under conservation area. So if they are, why even they even thought about making the changes? If there was a problem with the car park, in this time and age and technology, I'm sure they could have used some, you know, I, I come from engineering background. There are millions of things they can, mm. or millions of things they can add on to concrete or make something, put some battle in there so they won't break. I mean, coming into our garden, you would see maybe about two feet deep holes. It's because of the dryness of the, of the ground. Mm. So I'm sure that car park must have got some similarities. It's not that far away from, from the back, our back garden. So we get constant, even in the summertime, late night they have programs. There are lots of lights <coughs> coming through, lots of noise coming through. Oh, yes. So can you imagine all those trees mm. being removed? All the lights coming right into our, into our kitchen. Where we can, you know, obviously it's going to be causing us disturbance. I think, I think, I, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I, I'm certainly in sympathy for you. And um, uh, Roger and John, and, and uh, which are the Ward Gloucestershire County Councillors, I'm sure they're looking to it to um, put the case forward. Can, can, just to close the tab, can we be assured of a response? Yes, I'd just like to go back to Mr. Bradley. It's actually on the agenda for 13.4. We'll be discussing it then. Because obviously, it wasn't, you weren't answered. Yes. Thank you. Can discuss it and then actually, obviously, but hopefully by then, we will have been. Lives next door, will have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, can I just, yeah. just as a joke, my daughter said, just before we came out, <laughs> she said, if they don't listen to us, we will get Greenpeace people coming. <laughs> they're going to hang themselves on the trees. So they're not going to be able to do anything. But be ready for that. Don't look at me. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I think maybe she yeah. just hangs yeah. back. Yeah. And my mother is disabled, yeah. and she's panicking yes. like anything. Yeah. You know, oh my God, we're going to have a new fight. This one will be able to have it motion. The, from the, this will be added to the agenda as a proper agenda, because this came as a short notice. Okay. So that's oh, really and then we will actually add to the planning and then we will be able to right now we also updated the district councils about it we hopefully we will pursue that yeah so that you know, that's sure sure yes okay then. thank you thank you um i'm natalie field i live on ellen hay road and i'm a resident I've been a resident in Gladys Stone for a long time. Um, and as, as residents, we believe it's really important that uh, the business of the council uh, and the decision making is open and transparent. And I know that all uh, councillors on this uh, council, uh, that, that is something that we strive for. Um, but I want to know uh, what steps that the council will be taking above and beyond the notes of the meeting. Um, to make sure that the business is even more open and transparent and accessible to residents of Bradley Stone. So I'm thinking accessibility is particularly important for young people, uh, but also for people where there may be visual impairment. The minutes are published on the uh, website. Uh, which is one, but you say for visual impairment, um, it's obviously a 
Uh, what, what we do for that, yeah. Yeah, there is a, a recording that's, that's done at every single meeting. Yeah. Um, maybe, I don't know if um, can come to, so that a tape could be that they can actually listen to. Yeah. They could probably come to the office and listen to it. But that's, that's, well, but minutes, that's yeah. only after, the, once the minutes are agreed in full council or whatever committee <coughs> is, the tape is then destroyed because it's only for essentially my record. Well, it's all on YouTube, so I don't see what you are going to make. It's being recorded now. Is that available on the website? So it's on YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. It's okay if I just town council. We can have hours yeah. of fun watching us. Yeah, yeah there'll be, it is on YouTube, so be to, they'll be able to listen to it on that. Is that yes. easy to find? <coughs> Yeah, yeah, just Bradley Stoke Town Council. Okay. And they are all dated. Is there a link from the Town Council website? No, 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 no. Town no, no, no. 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 We, we, we haven't actually gone up to that level. Yeah. Only Bristol, even South Coast Council doesn't have a live web camera recording. Only one that's nearby is the Bristol City Council. But we are actually exploring the ideas how we can actually make this available. So actually make it if you want. But that's a good point. I, I totally agree with that, but maybe yes, we'll have to explore. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to come back to the question of these trees and hawthorn bushes, etc. Um, Mayor, if I may. Um, it's surely worth pointing out to South Gloucestershire Council that when everybody is concerned about the loss of trees and uh, mm. global warming, mm. this seems a very contradictory action to take. Yeah. Well, that's absolutely yeah. Well, that's <coughs> Yeah, we'll put that in our <laughs> submission. <laughs> <laughs> any, any other points to make from the submissions from the public? We want to hear from That's the same thing. Okay then. Just Thank look you. the car park somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got a big ground in the back. There's a lot of ground, you know, football ground we can move on that side. Yeah. But it, it seems it's, it's the only this, the overflow car park. That's it's not the main car park. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. You can actually attend the full meeting because it's your council meeting. But you know, I know sometimes it will be really. Or if someone wants to listen to that, that's, really that's, that's, that's why we always keep that seat for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Yes, do you receive any apologies from us? Stephen, come on. Keith, Bradley, Nikki Haller, Anne Ward, Brian, Robinson, and then officers from Randall. Okay, Andrew.
this number four will be thanks to Franklin and the Ghana Community Summer Ball at um, Bristol. And uh, I was also invited by the Eugene Radio on the 2nd of July to actually have an interview. So that's what's it. Number six was the And uh, that's okay. I'm also invited to sign in uh, that invitation for the Red Church International. That's you'll be the 21st. We'll be also invited to a few of the events for the Red Church. We're going to be invited to also the International Excellence of the Church was on the 21st of July. <coughs> yeah. No, it's going to be. Yeah. Design meeting. Yeah. I would say we will be able to come to the Father on Saturday, 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 July. Uh, I've been invited to the Edge Church as well on the 21st. I was on their Edge Run, Red Edge Day. Okay, and that's. Uh, You may know some of our the <coughs> graffiti is a big issue in our town, and um, many times when we report that to the Virgin or B team, they may not come and uh, repaint it, they will leave it as such. Uh, and the telephone post at uh, Virgin and Bradley Store, Mr. Shamsama, what I <coughs> we reported that nothing happened, we actually went and repainted it with the same color with one of my neighbors, you know, who has a rich, uh, I think Tony knows him. Yeah, Richard yeah. Crichton. Yeah, yeah, so that was, mm -hmm. sometimes we will, we will better try to accept that rather for the months and years. And uh, one thing... I just say that wasn't the town council, but we don't take that, because we're not allowed to touch the little uh, exactly. boxes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm.
I know this is a normal practice to speak, but we can't hear at the back. Yeah, um, the urn is going, and the, I don't know whether it's the acoustics of the room and the noise outside. Yeah. We haven't heard okay, the last right. 10 minutes. Can you speak up, Tom, please? Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, down in. But as we don't have a public speaking system right now in the meetings, mm -hmm. sometimes in the end, I know that it gets in charge that we shouldn't shut the door, please. Because it will take some time, so I will call upon one agenda item just to call seven to deal with any matters arising from minutes of the meeting held on 15th of May 2019 and 26th June 2019, not covered elsewhere on the agenda. 7.1 Brookway Equity Center Site Grounds Redevelopment. Uh, right, in light of the potential value of the work, uh, an advert has gone on construction line. Uh, which is a sort of the government agency that you use to advertise work which have the potential for costing a lot of money. So that's got another week to run. Currently there's no expressions of interest. Once the period of advertising on the construction line has expired, uh, the town council will be in a position to obtain quotes in line with our financial regulations and standing orders, which will then be brought to finance committee or full committee for discussion and decision. Anybody else want to click on it? Complete it? Happy? Thank you. 7.2. Strategic planning recommendation. 7.2.1. Litter bins around Raleigh Street. Uh, the litter bins around the town have been monitored and some bins have been moved to slightly different locations. The old smaller bins are being replaced with larger bins. The new waste disposal unit at Brookway Activity Centre is proving very useful. The recycling is working well at all the activity centre sites, including the new glass recycling at Bailey's Court Activity Centre. The possibility of installing recycling bins at the skate park as a trial is currently being investigated and will be taken to August Finance Committee for discussion and board decision. Okay, we'll have prices by then. Anybody wants to say anything? Okay, we'll move on. 7.2.2. Next stage skate park development, including DD accessible surface and access ramp outside container, equipping interior of containers, completion of landscaping, product tools, and equipment. 
Uh, in respect of the DDA accessible surface and the access ramp, a uh, proposal is currently being developed. Uh, Graham Baker, our youth development and participation worker, has met with contractors and is currently awaiting the process. Come back into the Yeah. Okay. 7.3. Lack of bus pulling base on Bradley Superway. Yes, we can start there. Uh, if you remember when this came up at full council in May, uh, the chair of council, in conjunction with the town clerk, was going to draft a letter of response to South Gloss Council asking them to reconsider changing the bus stop designs, pulling bays. Reconsider. Reconsider their decision. Bus stop pulling bays on Bradley Stoke Way. So, do you want me to read yeah, yeah. that list? So, uh, this hasn't gone yet. I've just received it from Tom today. So, um, this is the content of what is suggested the response that we sent. Thank you for your email dated the 1st of April. 2019 regarding laybys at bus stops on Bradley Stoke Way. We read your response carefully and understand your difficulties. As you said, it is good to encourage the use of public transport. We also support that. However, the existing scenario jeopardises the public transport system itself. As you know, there are no bus lanes on Fiddler's Wood Roundabout, Bailey's Court Roundabout in Bradley, in Bradley Stoke Way. In between. So in between Fiddler's Wood Roundabout and Bailey's Court Roundabout on Bradley Stoke Way. The traffic flows through Bradley Stoke Way have become more and more hectic and crawling after the opening of Stoke Bitter Bypass. Hence, any obstruction in traffic flow in Bradley Stoke causes a knock-on effect in roundabouts along the Bradley Stoke Way and cause further chopper block in the town. The town and its residents are suffering enormously due to a lack of proper infrastructure to cater this traffic flow. Many times, particularly in the morning hours of the weekdays, M1 buses are also blocked by the bus numbers 73 and T1 at the bus stops on Bradley Stoke Way. Bradley Stoke itself goes under siege unnecessarily due to this problem. We also encourage the use of public transport by improving bus services we request that South Gloucestershire Council not to penalise other roads, road users in that initiative. It is not fair to block the arterial route of the town and creating traffic chaos in Bradley Stoke. I'm enclosing a picture along with this email, which is the one courtesy of Bradley Stoke Journal. Do you remember that one? Mm -hmm. On the front page mm -hmm. of the journal, <coughs> quite recently. To illustrate the traffic chaos and the lane hopping and the dangerous situations that may unfold. Hence, we solemnly request you to reconsider your decision after analysing the in depth gravity of the problem and take necessary steps to put the bus laybys at least in a few of the bus stops that need urgent attention. Thanking you with kind regards, Councillor Comedy Chair of Bradley Stoke and Chair of Bradley Stoke Town Council with the suggestion that the letter, I assume, goes back to the Head of Transport and Strategic Projects, who sent the response in April, and also the Leader of South Wales Council, which is Toby, Councillor Toby Savage, and the, Chief, the new Chief Executive, Dave Perry. Yes, we are fine, yes. We expressed our views that you can send it. If I've ever heard the term flogging a dead horse, this is it. They're not going to change their policy, uh, so be prepared for a, a negatory, nugatory response. I mean, nothing will happen. The, the buses are sacrosanct in our group, okay, never mind the private cars, and uh, putting them into the laybys will jeopardise the times taken to get into central Bristol, so there's 
no way they're going to change the policy, but it's worth having a go. Okay, one of the things is, it jeopardizes the system itself, you know, like everyone bests it. So many times, as we have seen, show and straight away the pictures. Second part is how much we have to suffer. Okay, especially if it's in the fringes, it's fine, but especially in the central province, what is that way about it? If you're traveling, it's pretty. Yes, I was just going to say, I don't think we put too much stress on the M1 bus, particularly on going into Bristol, because in fact it's much quicker to get a T1 bus, which doesn't go all the way around through the university. It's probably 10 minutes or so quicker. And I certainly always wait for a T1 in preference, and I'm sure I'm not unique in that respect. <coughs> yes, that is fine. But anybody wants to actually add on any points? Um, I had uh, uh, an email from a, a resident the other day about the closing of City Bus Lane and lots of more traffic going up Dudley Stoke Way. Yes. And uh, she suggested that they open the bus lane. Um, Temporarily, the issue is sometimes, even after it finishes, people yeah. may use it and you make it as an excuse. So that's, yes. The, the, having the Metro bus was designed so they could get people to get quicker into to Bristol and also to get people out of their cars. So having something like that, why don't people get on the bus? It's a lot quicker. I've used the T1 and it is very quick. It's, uh, people are not just going to one location or one destination. Mm -hmm. But of course, we welcome that. I always use. But recently, I had a, an experience. M1, six of the, it was like six, five. I reached the bus stop at Savage Wood Road. Uh, one after the other, buses were going from, uh, because the in Savage Wood bus, uh, bus stop don't take, uh, the M1 won't stop there. So t only, it's only the T1 and 73 stops that that bus stop. But I waited for an hour time to actually get there. Whereas in the same time, six of the M1 buses was passing by. So sometimes it's not reliable, that's an issue. I just want to voice my opinion that I'm concerned that we've had a bus system put in, and you've got the T1 and the M1 and buses using that route. And those buses are moving better than we've we ever had bus services running through the town. So moving things into bus bays, which we initially asked for at the planning stage, when this was all on sheets of A1 paper and we were looking at them at planning committees and raised it then. Um, I'm just concerned about how long we're going to keep going round this loop of bus bays, no bus bays, bus bays, no bus bays. Um, because we've got a very good bus service, we've got good bus services now running, which I think is in part due to the fact that not having to pull in and out of traffic on Barrowstoke Way, so I think that's a plus side. What I would like to see is an engagement with the bus companies and the services running these buses, so you don't have buses trying to overtake buses and issues with buses stacking up upon, upon buses while they're trying to use those bus stops. To me that's just discipline in the bus company to try and get the buses to run efficiently down those arterial routes. Um, but the thing is, especially if you come to... Uh, and we still don't solve the solution if we've got two buses turning up to a bus stop, three. that's the one bus. Mm -hmm. So if you had a pulling bus bay, this bus bay would have to be enormous to fit two full-size double-decker buses <coughs> in it. So I'm just, I'm very concerned about how frequently we keep revisiting this topic. But how frequently we're revisiting the topic without any new ideas or solutions for that. It's like this problem. bay is a solution. The only I thing is, in some, right, yeah. somewhere, in, I'm not saying to actually put it in all the bus stops, mm -hmm. especially in the areas near to the roundabouts, unless it's there, it's create much job block. Other we, roundabouts and the arterial roads. With respect, Tom, I think bus bays is what you view as a solution. And I think South Gloucestershire Council and their planners have a very different view as to what the that solution is. Why. is. The this solution is what they've got on the, on the roads at the moment. Yeah, I would be looking for a more common ground that could be found with the operators and the planners who put in this system to try and make sure it's used better than keep going around the idea. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
you know, many people using that as a dumping ground. Mm -hmm. that. So especially when we are doing a clearing mm -hmm. thing like that. So yeah. another research which we will or more from that, okay. This is actually to update because that one is actually okay, seven point four. PSTC committee membership breakdown effective from May 2020 relating to standing order 42.4. So you've got that in your agenda packets just for information really because obviously this is how it would relate to the main committee committees as of now and the main council but the uh, um, standing order doesn't take effect until May 2020 so it's just a lot of
I just want to echo uh, John's opinion of that, and I did, I did voice my opinions that this was a business for me at the time, and I was concerned about that, so yeah. I think that's what was worth me. Yeah, but uh, I'm actually also thinking, only it was thousand pounds, we were, they were paying us thousand pounds. No, mm -hmm. it was, it was yeah. 600, no, it was 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, 600, Oh, you know, this is actually, I think, not last year. Yeah. This is actually 2016, correct? 2000. The first year we were on the Carnival Committee, they donated £1,000 yeah. to, the to the Carnival, the Carnival Committee. Yeah. 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 So but, but that was the, the level that they donated to the Carnival donated, Committee. So. I know we can't put the price up now because Jimmy Cole will come in and pay immediately, thinking, oh, God, these suckers, I'm going to pay the money now. <laughs> But that £500, can we, <coughs> at this meeting, decide it doesn't go to the town council, it goes to the town charity? No, 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 that's no, no, the decision that's no. being made by <coughs> the committee. No, whatever decided, let it That's disgraceful. It's an it's it's but I think being yeah. charitable to the charity, that's all I have to say. £500 to the charity yeah. means quite a lot. £500 to the town council is nothing, that's for a while. Because all the things, even when you are doing the fireworks, it's done by the town council. Mm -hmm. Okay, that yeah. way. Even you are actually doing the community festival, it's done by the. It's going from the town council. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Taxpayers' so it's, money. Tax, uh, money. Yeah. So it's actually. Yes, money. Yes. So is it possible to have this discussed at full council next time? Yes, that's what I said. Yeah. So we will yeah. take full council yeah, next time. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Okay. Anything else? Right. Let's finish. Right now, this is for the meeting for all the South Coast councillors. Let me. To put their updates, yes, one by one. I'll go from one to the John. No. I was only saying what I just said. To <coughs> that. Do you want to say? Do, do you want to say anything about the members funding or anything like that? No, I don't want to say anything. Thank you, Tom. Do you want to say anything? No, Tom. I don't want to say anything. Okay. Okay. Roger. Uh, yeah, I got a few uh, inquiries about members aren't getting funding. Uh, what I wanted to say was, and uh, unfortunately he's not there, is. Um, the journal, Steve Horton, put that uh, thing about uh, petty politics, etc., uh, back on online on his uh, online on his website uh, journal, and uh, some character commented, you know, about me that I should wipe my necking or something like that. So I thought, right, I'll send a, I'll send a nice little reply to Steve Horton, pointing out that it wasn't me who said that thing. I had nothing to do with the photographs. And I said, well, you know, obviously voice recognition is not one of your strong points, Stephen. And uh, funny enough, this didn't get published. And I went to Polly. So I sent him another one. I said, uh, does the journal not like criticism? Then? They can dish it out, but he can't take it. Uh, again, that didn't appear on the county's website either. On the journal website, so yeah. you always take it to the uh, press complaints commission. Yeah, yes, I suppose I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 for incorrectly <coughs> labelling me, uh, whatever it is. Well, the issue is actually that they're supposed to give prominence to corrections. Yeah, and if they don't, they are failing in their That's duty. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah they, they can do. You can actually ask him to get it removed because I have something removed off of the journal. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you want to say anything for other yeah. councillors? Like, yeah, the other thing is, um, I managed to get away from a council audit, thank God, for heaven's sake. Well, I'm now doing uh, regulatory. So I'm on regulatory, mm -hmm. I'm on licensing, which uh, I sat on the other day with the uh, chairman, Keith Granny, <laughs> looking at taxi driving cases, and uh, <coughs> public rights away, etc. Uh, and strategic sites, which um, they said, oh, you wouldn't have many meetings on that, but we've had four since the election. But, um, Sorry, did you say strategic sites and public rights away? Is that a separate no, strategic, one? public rights away, footpaths, public rights away, that's a separate issue. Strategic sites is a planning issue, um, it's a planning uh, committee. Um, but it was meant to only do about sort of, six a year. Well, we've had four since the election, so you know. Uh, uh, so that's uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, thank you, thank you for the update, yeah. Roger. Yes. Please. Well, I think my update is the one I've quoted on the form, declaration of interest. So far, I've been appointed to sit on the audit 
and I come and say, and then everyone and someone said, please, and try and commission for now. Yeah. We've been representing the district at the panel meetings and all that. Yeah. yeah. Can I just ask a question of the South Gloss? What have you done in the area that you could probably tell members of the public and also to go in minutes? Apart from sitting on whatever panel or anything like that. I've had complaints about buses I've dealt with, I've had uh, zebra crossings be painted, I've had potholes done, mm -hmm. I've had bushes cut back and I've had hedges trimmed to hang over the road, mm -hmm. and that's just in the last month. That, that's actually quite useful information yeah. for the yeah, public yeah. to know. No, that is something. Yeah, that's just what I didn't think about. No, that's, that's, that's what, yeah, that's, that's good to know. Well, so that's that's Adding on to what uh, John said, we are going to have a page for uh, John Hortons Journal, whereby we have uh, journal? Journal. journal. Yeah, where we will be putting all this the information, information on, on for the public to know how things are going from the district level okay. within our ward. Okay, yes. that's fine. Okay, that's good. Job. Anybody want to copy? We'll move on. So sorry, that was a page on. Well, she lost your painting in Zebra Crossings, the wrong book way up towards the surgery definitely needs redoing. Oh, that's that yeah. be Sarah and yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you could actually have that one. Yeah. <coughs> that one's really faded. I'm trying to get the book where it is going up from here, it's just before you get to the surgery. No, okay. Just before the doctors. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, then, <coughs> okay, thank you. Go on. Number 12, financial matters. Are we all now? No, okay. Number 13, to deal with, is a big long list. Okay. To deal with miscellaneous matters. 13.1, Community Festival 2019 and 2020. I hope uh, you have the paper with you. Yeah, yeah. You have the feedback from the Community Festival attached. That's the first page. Mm -hmm. so that's just your information, really. It came in on budget. <clears throat> there was a £654 underspend. That came from the extra £4,000 which is allocated. So that obviously then leads into the second part of the year. Should be about MAD, climbing wall. The climbing wall is the one that uh, can't create some just this time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the climbing wall is a mm -hmm. nice thing, but that one, that uh, wall was the picture. Last year it was not a problem, is it? No. Uh, this year it was. Yeah. That's because the company got bought out and. Uh, but so this has actually out. gone up right now from 2001 to 21,000 to 25,000, 24,000 something we expect. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And we're remaining the balance. Face painter is £85, Bob's Castle has £22. Vampiro, what is that? That's the um, magic show. Oh, okay, okay. We're paying £2,500. Yes, because he's here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, just for the schools as well, and the preschool. And the big you want photography three, right? <coughs> I don't think you said £100. No, I said I didn't know. I said the price was talking about the fireworks. I said I had no idea because oh. that's all done through work. All right, okay, this is actually a feedback, and uh, I think we make this is a feedback. Yes. Anybody wants to say anything on the feedback? Yeah, so, Bum Buren, anybody? Yes, he's really good. That's um, Alonso Buren, a lot less than the Prof Panic Circus mm. that we've had in previous years. Mm. Okay, very really good. Anybody wants to talk about the feedbacks? Can I just ask what it was like because I was flying back then? Or what was, so was it busy? Was there a lot here? Yeah. There was. The stalls were the better than previous times? It's a mix. Yeah. Actually what I'm saying is when you look under the Friday one, it's 
was raining, nothing much happened. And suddenly we started with the windy weather. And then, uh, but in the afternoon it was much more people. Even at six o'clock, people, hundreds of people were here. I went late Saturday afternoon and said it was quite busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was good. As for me on Saturday, Sunday as well, it was much well attended. Okay, that's good. Any other? I was only going to say sorry, I couldn't go. I was in Prague. Good. 13.1.2 to set and review previously agreed budget for 2020 festival. Is that the date? Yeah. We will do one by one. The date, those are suggestions to actually put in the June. If you are actually in that one, those in the, the last page. Okay. Okay. The date that's been proposed is the 5th of July, uh, June, the 7th of June. Yes, Brian. I that. I'll second. Anybody? Tony, you want to say anything? <laughs> you should be available. <laughs> that's next year, 2020. Yeah. Okay, there is a proposal here. Can we have a vote, please? All in favor. Okay. <clears throat> and right now we need to, to review the previously agreed budget for 2020. As you could see, at the full council meeting on the 19th September 2018, the council appointed Ria to run the 2020 committee resolution for the budget of 21,000 plus and extra 2,000, which was moved from the Community Development Grant aid budget. The 4,000 is ring fence money, the lucky for the cost of community zone rights, headline acts, and other costs of the festival. Um, there's a small underspent amount this year to consider. So, we would like to have uh, proposals and comments from the councillors that are will be on that as a need to increase. Yes. I'd like to propose the same budget level as last year and then just the um, underspend removed at unallocated reserves or something like that. We'll just yeah, go into the reserve process and let um, Rachel put it where it needs to go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Same budget as last year, just put it into reserves. Last year. So, same budget as this year, actually. Yeah. Same budget as this year, sorry, but then just put the underspend into whatever reserve pot. Rachel deems fit as the RFO. Yeah. Used to good in the future. Deemed fit, is it? Yeah, that's she deems fit as the RFO. Yep, yeah, thank you. So that was so proposed by Michael and Roger both seconded. <laughs> with the silt build-up on the nature reserve pond and it's in major need of desilting. A letter of support was sent to South Gloucestershire Council in November 2017, basically very simply saying that we supported um, John B. Morris, who is the Partnership and Delivery Officer in the Environment and Community Service Team at South Gloss Council. He was putting together a business proposal uh, to, I guess, get funding released to desilt the pond and that the Town Council fully supported his efforts in getting this arranged. Um, when we chased it up a year ago, we have a letter from him to, or an email from him to say, we're currently obtaining quotes for the desilting work. As part of the work, silt samples will shortly be taken from the lake to determine what particulates can be contained in the silt. 
this will determine where we can legally dispose of the silt and the cost of the project. We still need to identify funding sources for the work. So that's the background. Lots of languages, right? Yeah, I haven't had anything so, since then. then. But I, I know that you, the chair has spoken. Yeah, I talked to John recently at the Stocks Award ceremony, and I said, instead of busy out, using our money, the council money, why can't we mm -hmm. be using a submission strictly see from the Ask for Laser Company and so on, directly use that? Speak up a bit, Tom. Sorry. sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. sorry. Yeah. To use that the slit or the soil over there to sell it to some fertilizer company and mm -hmm. sort of make some money out of it. So rather than spending money, why can't we actually think the other way? And I thought uh, I will consult with the thanks to um, get opinions from the Bradley Stroke and Bloom, the Green Chain, other people, the stakeholders, community, frankly, their opinions, suggestions, and comments as well push this thing forward because it's a major issue because it's a flooding as if you look into that recently there was a flooding at um, mm. on the three group inch or so the water came up to the benches immediately but there was just one rain and one day it gone up so this should be avoided that's the one thing i would like to if anybody wants to comment on it um. You're right, two weeks ago it was flooded, it was up over the, the bench and today I've received complaints um, saying where's all the water gone, it's back to a mud flat, um, it's, it's only half full, um, it, it just needs desilting and selling the silt to a um, fertiliser company, there is a precedent for that, um, I can't tell you exactly where it was but um, uh, another lake was desilted and the, hot, the entire cost was offset by selling the silt to a fertiliser company. So if South Bloss Council are prepared to think outside the box a little, mm. um, it can be done, it just takes a bit of work. Um, but it definitely needs doing. I mean, we have otters down there, we have, well, we had otters, we have the herons, we have the egrets, um, we have some fish, but it's it's just it's trying to it, become ugly. Yeah, it, it it is ugly, and if you step in that mud, it is treacherous. Yes. it is actually really dangerous. Yes, um, having been in it myself, you only go in it's about a foot, and then you're stuck. Yes, um, you need a crane to lift you up. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yes, yeah. yeah, so we're sort of fed up of getting complaints and people saying, you know, what are you going to do when our hands are slightly tied? And it is something that the group is, is really behind. And we have been for years. Um, and like you say, the, the silt samples have now been done. Where the silt was, um, I don't want to say dumped, but disposed of on site last time, that area has now been cleared. And it is big enough to desilt and leave the silt there again if you wanted to do that. So, okay. um, and anything else? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any other councils want to say anything? Okay. One of the other things is on um, subsequent to that, there was a the town and parish forum. I raised the point with uh, <laughs> as a question answer session with the chief executive Dave Perry. And he said if we can look into it. Uh, just copy that thing to me. <laughs> to him. So we, we can also update him. That's been the petitions, the comments from the community stakeholders as well. Mm -hmm. um, any other comments? Any point? What I suggest directly push this, otherwise, this is something um, we are actually suffering in the LV. Mm -hmm. And that should be what is a kind of lake? This is that for flooding to continue? It's an attenuation lake. It's not an amenity pond. It is a um, flooding pond. Yes, it's an attenuation lake, which means that in times of flooding, it will hold the water. Hold the water, yes. Um, which, of course, at the moment, it doesn't. It doesn't, yes. Um, so because it there's just no depth to it. <laughs> it defeats the purpose right now, because having the water mm. there. And it's causing much issues with the wildlife. It 
here because yeah, that's out of our path. Also, the state of the paths, they, you know, they get flooded, they get wet. We have the 10K come over there. Yeah. We have a lot of people come over there. Um, and it just wrecks the whole area. One day, <clears throat> that's not this year, last year, when there was a flooding, when I was like near the bridge, the water came to the front like a big river, you know, mm. because it was coming up very quickly. That's uh, what he said is uh, mm. right. It's not doing its work. So what are we doing? Having another letter to South We need to pursue that. Uh, we need support from the district yeah. councillors as well to uh, pursue right. that. Right. Because uh, these are things that need for the community. That's one thing from the update from the district councillors. If we can actually, mm. next time, pursue mm. this issue. Well, it charges and nothing special expenses, don't they? South Yeah, mm. so that's the reason why we yeah. are giving the so solution. So what are doing for it? We, mm. we, that rather than having not that... Not in Park. No, obviously <laughs> not. But and not even I paying for us. I can't remember the figures off but I think you remember. Something called approaching 100,000. Yeah, I think I want to say 85,000. 85,000, yeah, yeah we'll set up that. But that was a That's couple of years ago. a year, for every year. So what yeah. are they doing for that 85,000? Yes, maintaining the reserve. Well, maintaining the reserve. Not detailing the pond, I guess. No, yeah. they're doing the reserve. RSLA comes no, from do, yeah, the town council, thing. not South Gloss Council. Yeah. So that I said RSLA comes from the town council, yeah. not South Gloss Council. Yeah. So the 14 odd thousand pounds worth of work we do for free uh, each are, year maybe, is, is paid by you, not them. By maybe. They are, the charge they actually say is for the officers, the salaries, and all those things. Mm -hmm. Are we allocating that in a different way? Well, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. we, we get a week of John Morris's time uh, in a year. Yeah. But well, £75,000 pounds worth. <laughs> but John, John Morris was very uh, proactive when I actually said this. Mm. Okay? We only want to see what the action is. So I thought bring it to the attention of the town council and if there are any other opinions come in so that will as a democratic way try to be pursued. Presumably John B. Morris has other areas he looks after. Fifty, is my understanding. So that wouldn't all be salary running costs? No, so yeah. so like I say we we yeah. pay yeah, for where that money goes fifth, and how it's been one spent, week of him. I guess South Lost Council do do some maintenance on the reserve. Mm. Oh, it's a free information request to South Lost Council potentially how they're spending that money. Mm. That's I a would potential think. route for us to understand that. Yeah. I would love to know. As you say, you're not still to the lake for it, are you? Can we, next one, is, can we write to the council on this issue? Because that's one mm. thing. Mm. To John Morris, strictly the chief executive, and uh, we can send a copy to you guys too. Mm. So that you can actually pursue that. I, I think we're all in agreement it needs doing. I think what we are not in agreement is that the urgency with which it now needs doing. It's been put on a back burner and put on a back burner. And um, with the flooding just a couple of weeks ago, it shows that actually this is something that needs attention now. Yes. Um, yes. This is actually to call the attention. That's the reason why I put that there. Mm. <coughs> We can write. Yeah, yeah, do we have a proposal that... Yeah, I propose directly right to the South Coast Council. Okay. You second it? Any? No. You propose it? Oh, I, I, I propose it. I'll second it. Okay. Yeah. So, right to John B. Morris. John B. Morris, yeah. Otherwise, and, you know, the right to the... Chief the executive? Right mm. to the chief executive, because he said to write to him. Okay, mm. so a copy to John Morris would be better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so right to chief exec with copy. <coughs> yeah. Note the 85 pounds that they're charging us. Yeah. Okay. Mm. We, we, we've been asked to um, put up a petition, and we don't really want to do that. We would like to sort of yeah. put in a polite and flattering response so negotiations could continue, maybe. Mm. But, um, but this one, if you remember, a few years ago, there was a work by the Bristol, uh, sorry, Wessex Water in mm. that area. And in the meeting of, uh, at the town council, they were in the office, the consultants, isn't it? They came, mm. When they came and I proposed, why can't we actually do it? And they agreed, oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's all something we have wanted to do for the community. 
I was I thought it's easy peasy. That's good. Yeah. And one thing when I checked with John, he said they given five thousand pounds to that. I think they probably didn't realize how much it was going to cost. <laughs> yeah, maybe five thousand. So, sorry, going back to the proposals, we write to chief executive with copy to John Lee Morris and copy obviously the ward councillors in. Yes. Um, do you want me to? Ask for a breakdown of how the eighty five thousand yeah, 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 that was what's this? Yeah. Uh, glass, is it yeah. Uh, okay. Can we have a vote, please? Can we have a vote on this proposal? Yeah, all unanimous. Thirteen point three. Mm -hmm. Gladys from Town Council renovation and council the, uh, the uh, website is in need of some re revamping to give it a more modern look. For example, we need to. We, I think all the information that's on there is important, but it's just a bit clunky. So all the information that's on the left hand side needs to go along the top and needs to be mm. scroll down bars so that people can access stuff quicker without having to Cluster. work their way down. Um, and we also need to ensure that our website is accessible under the public sector bodies, websites and mobile applications. Number two, accessibility regulations for 2018. So we need to review that as well, which our website administrator will be able to do. Uh, well, we need to get a quote from him to obviously look at upgrading to obviously council decide that they want to go down this line. And my suggestion would be that we ask him for a quote to carry out some upgrading and review work and then we bring it back to um, finance or September Council for yeah. a decision. Yeah, we just want to be clear. The twinning, it is still giving you the wording. We started our twinning in 2000. Recently, we have the 10th anniversary. Recently, we have 10th anniversary. That is the wording that's yeah. been here. So, those things, you know, yeah. just update, yeah. just refreshing, you know, refreshing yeah. and things like that. Anybody else? This is actually our public organ. You can go on to that one in a minute yeah. once you've looked at this first. So, this, the, this one, whether we need to agree, just agree for the next meeting? Uh, yes, please. We will. Yeah. Uh, Franklin. Okay. All in favor? Yes. And, uh, yes. so that's to get quotes. Yeah. And to bring back to finance so, or full council. Full council. Full council. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, right now the second one. Yeah. yeah. Right, you. the second one is um, well, I know we've looked into this in the past about um, councillors having bradleystoke.gov.uk email addresses. But there was always a problem with the server because we've had issues that we thought we might overload the server. But now we've got Office 365 and everything's in the cloud, it is a much more doable option. So I can go to our IT supplier and get quotes to, well obviously there are cost implications because all councillors will need a license, but we can sort all that out. And so if you're happy for me to go back yeah. to well, the at the moment and you just get an email and it's, you just hold it on, don't you? Well no, no. People can respond to you through our website. Yeah. And the email addresses aren't visible because it just says send email. But obviously then when a councillor replies to the resident who has emailed them, there will then be an email address if you yeah. yeah. I let's keep it that way. One thing, yes. I said, I was going to say, I'm quite for the idea of having a councillor email address because it does uh, raise some of the concerns that were expressed last year with uh, the data protection regulation yeah. and uh, time mitigating some of those issues and circumstances. Um, but I'd also like, if we do go down that route, the way the website is presenting itself, that the actual email address itself is remained not indexed by search engines and Google and what have you, it's still going to be 
the form to submit initially, yeah. and then once the contact's made, then you're responding from that email address. Because mm -hmm. otherwise you just end up with lots of, lots of spam. One more thing, uh, when I checked, uh, the, uh, some of the councils, like even the Downland Parish Council, they're using for the councillors, you know, parish council, which is a small one. And many of the councils are doing it, so we have to check the implication. Yes, Paul. yes. Just come back to the present thing, so they send an email, and it comes to me, yeah. what is, what is it? if I reply, then they know yeah, your email. my email address. Yeah, because you reply with whatever email address you gave me that, that would go yeah, on the yeah. website, although it isn't visible on the website, but obviously... Yeah, there is, that's right. So as a district council, it doesn't matter to us because we've got South Cross. Yes, you know, so you're, yeah. you're more concerned about individual so and say Terry. Well, I mean, quite a few councillors have set up their own councillor email address. You've got one, haven't you? I think I've got one as well. You've got one. Yeah. 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 Um, but that's, got one. But that's you know, a, that, that's you a know. Gmail. That's anybody can create. Anyway, that's a as someone who's not particularly computer literate, can I ask that we get some? as possible. Yeah, it will be, I think. Oh, how much is this going to cost? I don't know. I need to go away and get quotes and obviously come back yeah. with it. But it is, it is feasible, whereas in the past it would have been not so feasible, but it is, it is something that you want I mean, to investigate further. It's a lot of money. It's not really worth it. As you say, most, well, several people have got their own councillor adopt. That's yeah. very naturalistic. Yeah, yeah, that's like your, yeah, that's right. Yes, that. I want to say anything. No, no, I was going to say, it just gets to that, that um, uh, data protection loop yeah. um, when everything's contained in that one thing and then once you cease to be a counsellor the your access is withdrawn yeah, and the email doesn't right. exist anymore that's right. mm -hmm. that's right. you're no longer a counsellor yeah. so you wouldn't have a bradleystoke.gov.uk email address yes. you would just you you, 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 you've, you've created your own council and you delete it when you don't become a counsellor well you would hope so yeah. well the difference as well is, is that when we have our uh, data protection like the document management stuff um, they would be able to enforce email deletion and, and things like that policies or if we all had a central system. So, for instance, emails wouldn't reside in the inbox for longer than two years, they would just automatically age off and delete, yeah. which is good practice. Yeah, anyway. I'm doing GPR anyway, so I don't So, I think that's an upside of having it centrally managed. So, you're happy for the admin to get, get quotes then? Yeah, and just, track, just to take the course, can we have an update? Abstentions. Three abstentions. And come back to full council in September? Yeah. 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 Thank you. All right. Okay, we're going to go on. 13.4. Video recording matters. Just uh, we've had a proposal that we should actually, rather than rely on one person to video, um, one independent person to video our meetings, we ought to buy our own camera and video our own meetings. Um, <coughs> what we do with it after that is a lot of the worst inside. There was also so, a suggestion that, yeah. that actually the backdrop looks a bit blank. <laughs> right. So, I think yeah, it would be sensible yeah. for us to. We have the huge banner, which yeah. is very bulky. bulky and takes a long while to put up. Picture of wildebeest. <laughs> Something on those lines. <laughs> it has been in existence for many years, yeah. but perhaps we could look at getting some of the, you know, the like the pop-up banners mm -hmm. that we could put yeah, behind here, which would create a bit more of a backdrop than just a wall. Yeah. Actually, get the logo put on the wall yeah. behind you and just leave it as that. Yeah. <coughs> 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 but we actually more off meetings. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, we don't always use this room. 
Yeah. That's yeah. very rare. Well, that's only very rare for the uh, AGM and yeah. the. Yeah, but you know. I think to actually get a banner, we could, yeah, would be better rather than because, as you say, there are things like plastic and this. Yeah, right. Two or three pull-ups. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
indefinite. Sometimes it will be perpetual. You know? so five years. The future of it can be infinite. If you choose to stay on there for life, but for here, it's five years. If you only put it on your website or store it, it could be five years. I think we need to be careful about that actually, because if we start revamping the website and that requesting um, video streaming services from our website, that could get expensive very, very quickly. Or we could open up a town council YouTube channel and have it on there. And the officers control that sphere and just upload things to that and then link it and embed it on the website because that's mm. free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Um, Does that sound like complete? Foreign yes. language? Um, <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. It makes sense, but I don't know anything about YouTube whatsoever. Yeah. So well, it's covered in the, um, oh, the, uh, the, the social media policy we wrote. Yeah. So we'd be using is. the guidelines of that policy to direct how we do the YouTube uh, stuff. Yeah. But also, it also helps those ones are visually impaired. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, we don't have a public. Why uh, system uh, speaking system? That's unfortunate. But uh, sometimes in some of the meetings we used to um, put it that uh, we will try to help you know as much as possible. We do have acoustic ceilings in here, which makes it much better than it used to be. But yeah, it was quite noisy. The doors uh, yeah, open. earlier. Yeah. Is there a loop system in this room? Yeah. Not in this no. room. There is no, in, the in, in the main hall, isn't it? Yeah. In the main hall, there is a loop. System. So the proposal was to purchase our own video recording equipment and backdrops and report back with costing, report back to finance PT in August. Hopefully we'll get them by then with costings. I don't mind full council or Council. Oh. Okay, okay, that's a proposal right now. I don't know. Ben Post. Ben Post. All in favor? That's okay. great. Okay, right now, the important bit is coming. 13. Point five, annual review of these policies and procedures. We have a large chunk. I do apologise that there are so many, but these all do have to be reviewed <coughs> at some stage during the year. So. It's a normal annual review, but usually it goes in blog. Hopefully, uh, everybody has read through them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I have reviewed them all, and my wording, proposed wording amendments are itemised in red for each of the policies. But obviously, this isn't set. If there's anything else that councillors want added into any of the policies, feel free. No, take your words. Okay. One of the things which I just want to take from the Council of is um, the one on the protocol of filming and recording of town council committee and committees. Uh, I also checked all the other national water councils and uh, some council has got, um, it should have been informed that it's been recorded and uh, then the chair will announce that as part of the normal thing and uh, also inform the public that will be there and to make sure if a public person, member of the public is being somewhere influenced, then make sure that you have got an issue taken away from you. So that kind of thing is true. Safety and security, safeguarding, can be added to the that part, the protocol on filming and recording. So the, the suggestion is, so what was it then, that the chair of the meeting yeah. will inform all those present you with the public, you know, the public and they can actually inform the chair, and then the chair will also inform the meeting. Okay, yeah. so, so where it says, if you want to look on that, the protocol on film, it's quite near the end of the uh, yeah. documents. Where it says, members of the public are permitted to film or record town council meetings to which they are permitted access in a non-destructive manner. Um, 
the chair of the meeting has the authority to stop a meeting and take appropriate action if any person contravenes these principles or is deemed to be recording in a disruptive manner. You then know, want it put in there? In that, the event, before that. Before that? Yes, Chair, the person you're recording informed you that there's a problem the chair. Where, where, I want to know where you want it put in. Where it says in a non-disruptive manner, manner yeah. so we've had in there. Uh, the and then is it to put it in a very slight wording? Of the public. Uh, Actually, we're going to do the whole day reading using the equipment from. Uh, then it will be town council then, so then yeah. you only have to. So you the, the announcement will be every single time. Yeah. Yeah. And some reference to that. Yeah, that's what we are writing. That's what I'm going to add in a minute. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going through, but, but not just for members of the public, is it? It's saying that the town council will be their own recording. That it is doesn't actually say that. that. If you read at the bottom, the last sentence says the town council yeah. may itself photograph, film, record, or broadcast at its meetings and can retain, use, or dispose of such material in accordance with so its it retention and disposal. So the member of the back, the member of the public is required. Other than the town council, yeah. Member of the public is recording. Okay, I mean for the chair that we need is to. required or asked to okay. with things to drag it on the chair a lot. Who's requested? It's the same as when you're doing CCTV, you should have notices up yeah. to say yeah. that's been. Okay, so is that the same principle? Okay, then. It's required to inform the chair of the meeting Changing the last paragraph then to say that the town council will instead of may. Yeah. Yeah. May, yeah. 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 may and uh, that's better, I feel. Yeah. 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 Really, yeah. Yeah. then we are required all the meetings have to be recorded. That means yeah. Yeah. You have to. You have to. You yeah. have to say yeah. will. It's a legal requirement. Will is much better. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So yeah. we're saying we want a town council meeting recorded every single time. So that's actually whether we have to add that. Why would I? Why would we? Why would you propose to buy audio uh, filming equipment if we're not going to they, insist that we do this every time? But even the closed meeting or other circumstances, we are not doing it. So it's yeah, but drop. It's, it says further up about that we can't record things when the public have been um, closed sessions. If in closed sessions you can't do, you just switch it off, mm -hmm. and then you switch it back on when it comes back into session. Still be happy that we say we will do this. Yeah, I think I think he's right. I think it should be. Because it does say will in the line above, so it would make sense to put will in that line yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Will. Yeah. So that's more accurate than there. <coughs> yeah. Okay. With that submissions. Any other corrections in the policy? There are one. We will just go through one by one, isn't it? Okay. And a review of policy. You can 
watching. You can either do them one by one, one or you can do them as Just directly, as the councillors directly know these are the policies, annual leave policy. Well, I'm hoping that all councillors have read their agenda packs <laughs> and yeah. all this information they have. I agree with every word you said, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write these policies. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. Ben actually wrote the social media ones. So I could yeah. yeah. exactly. Roger will now quote <laughs> page 18 and <laughs> line 4. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, in the most of them are just, they're mean, just.